You will see things before Christ comes. This is a wake-up call for every believer. Now I'm here to testify. I haven't been online for a long time, but I'm here to share my testimony of um, how God saved my husband from death, <clears throat> honestly. And um, so here I go. So um, about a week before this happened, we got a, um, a revelation that we should fast as a family on my husband's side of the family. So we began to fast. The fast was for two days. So we fasted and, um, you know, we took it seriously. And, you know, when God reveals, he's trying to let us know what the devil is planning. And it's your job to pray and fast so that you could cancel the plan of the enemy. So we prayed and fast. And my husband has a logistics business. And for some reason, my husband on that faithful morning, it wasn't even morning, it was like afternoon. He was driving and um, it was around one o'clock, about one o'clock, two o'clock. He was driving and um, I kept praying because I knew, I just didn't understand what was going on that day. I just kept praying. Something was just not right. So he wasn't supposed to go on this, um, take this assignment, but he did take it. And while he was um, coming back, it was a big bird that hit his glass window. I'm going to put the picture up. It hit his glass window and it cracked the window basically cr like cracked basically not just cracked it's like crumbled or smashed that's the word i'll use i'm gonna show the picture so um honestly that was just to take his life because there's no reason why that will come and somebody doesn't swerve and kill themselves because you're afraid but he said something just kept him going straight he didn't stop he didn't swerve he just kept going straight and as God will have it, God protected his life. There are a lot of signs that are going to happen. A lot of things are going to take place in your life where you cannot understand what is going on. It's a spiritual attack. You don't. You just don't understand. But the truth is that there's something greater inside of you that the devil knows that he wants to take away. He doesn't want it to manifest. He doesn't want you to use the gift that God has for you. And the fact that God kept my husband alive, it means that God is honestly not done with him yet. Just like God is not done with you. This is a wake-up call to believers. It's time to start praying. It's start to, time to start taking things seriously because the devil is out to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Do not let yourself fall prey to that. You know, take your time, go into your closet, go into your prayer room, ask God, God, clear my way, clear my mind, give me wisdom, ask God for wisdom and clarity as you do things. T that Tell God to direct your ways. Before you drive your car, we take it for granted that we go out and we come back home every day. There's some people that go out and they do not make it home or some people that go out and their life is changed because they're in a coma or because they're in a deadly accident. You know, don't take life for granted. The fact that God keeps taking you out and bring you back home safely, it's a gift. It's precious. So thank God and ask God to help you as you move forward because there's a reason why these signs are taking place here on earth. Ask God, please, what is going on? What do I need to do? How do I get closer to you? Read the word, meditate on his word day and night. Get closer with people who have the same mission with you, which is to make it to heaven. You know, this is a wake up call to every believer. These things are happening. It's not for you to sit back and sleep. You know, for example, at night, just last night, I kept hearing this song, um, uh, take all the praise, take all the praise. We have come to say thank you, Lord. Um, I believe, I think it's Eden that sang that song. I'm not really sure. Song, honestly, kept singing to me all night. And when God is singing things to you, start beginning to pray. Get up and pray. Prophesy into your life. Proclaim great things into your life. Thank God for what he has done. It's not just accent. Thank God because what God is doing is just He's just showing you a little bit. Imagine where you thank God for what he's doing. Imagine the greater things that he's going to do ahead. This is a warning for believers. Take your Christianity seriously. You know, I have been off for a while. I have been in school um, trying to better myself, which is what we should always try to do, better ourselves any way possible. And um, as God will have it, I have succeedly have finished it. And um, take your life seriously because our walk with christ is very important do not take it for granted do not take it for granted that you're alive you have a purpose here on this earth there's a reason why god continues to take you out and bring you back home safely because he is not done with you yet believe it and let god use you 
I always tell God, there's a song that said, if you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. And I believe that God should use me in any way that he wants to use me. I'm available and I'm telling God to please use me today, tomorrow, and forevermore. I love you all and please stay steadfast in your Christian faith. Stay strong, stay positive. God loves you and your best is yet to come. I love you all. Stay blessed. Bye.